Oh my god, he's like stuck to her. Look at this. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my Star Sign Legacy Challenge. Before we get into today's episode, I have something to tell you guys before I unpause. So basically, you may be noticing it down here that Rain is feeling really sad. She looks really sad. She wants to give herself a pep talk. And you may be wondering why? Well, in the last episode, when we had finished up, I basically had pressed stop recording and then all of a sudden we got a phone call and hi Rain, I'm calling to let you know that Axel Moon has passed away. I am so sorry for your loss. So basically, yeah, Axel has passed away in the last episode. That was not 17 days ago now. Gosh, I haven't played it in a few, few weeks. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was really confused because I was like, he's a young adult. Like, how did he die? Um, so I had a look at like on the family tree and it said death by killer rabbit. I was even more confused at this point because he lives in San Mayshuno. Um, so I basically came over and started checking like the recent neighborhood stories, which I'm going to do again now because I didn't save the game last time. First of all, Iggy Pants. Iggy Pancakes in the Pancakes household has died. Iggy got a little too angry and exploded. Oh my God. But also Axel Moon in the Moon household has died. Axel got on the bad side of a rabbit. So neighborhood stories actually killed off our brother. What the heck? That is like, this is like the impossible. Like, the, huh? like I left them on plate so they could go ahead and like do their own family stuff. But now like our brother's literally dead and he's like our only family member. Like he's like our mom's dead and we don't like her. Our dad died young. So now like Rain's completely on her own. Obviously, she has her own family now, but like biological family, like that she grew up with, like they're all gone. Like Axel's gone, and he has a wife and like two children, and and Kaori is pregnant. Like I don't even know what to do. So yeah, um, basically, I don't know what we're gonna do, but yeah, Axel has passed away. I think this episode really was gonna be like a nice episode following up the previous one. I was gonna work on Rain's skills a whole bunch, but now that Axel has died, we're gonna have to go visit Kaori and give her like support and stuff. Um, because yeah, she like, her husband is dead. Like really unexpectedly, like he's only an adult. Like a young adult, oh my God. <laughs> Welcome back to Star Sign. <laughs> I hope you guys have had a lovely few days since the last episode came out. The reason I did not record for 17 days is because I had uh, basically recorded the last episode the next day after the previous one, but they got released two weeks after each other. Um, so that's why I did not record until then. But now, the, the latest episode is out. <laughs> so now I'm recording um, a little bit more on schedule. I just, you know, I've been moving and stuff. So I tried to get uh, some things done quickly as possible to save myself some time in real life. Anyway, guys, Rain is off to work today. I am going to let her just go to work um, because she doesn't have any more personal days off. And it's also Yuki's, I think, first day of school today. She's already done her homework and got her skills up. So hopefully she'll have a good day at school. Uh, I am going to get her to... Oh, what should we get her to do? I think I'm going to get her to actively participate in class today. I normally get my Sims children to make friends on the first day of school, depending like what they have to do with their lives um but however since she already has two like uh friends the same age i feel like she doesn't need to make any more friends at this point and she's friends with um dallas as well so she's actually got she's got four child friends so i think she's okay we might get her just to work hard in school and rain can i'm gonna get her to work hard just for like part of the day because she's Due for a prom actually because she's due for a promotion and she can't get one I think I'm gonna get her to why don't we make some connections you know hopefully that'll make her feel a little bit better and Kyoshi is also at work today <laughs> it's been a while since I've had a sim household all go to work all right guys everybody is off to work now so I'm just gonna fast through it the day and and then I'll check back in after everyone's home okay Yuki is back home from school for the day. Um, Rain finishes work in one hour, so I'm just gonna get Yuki to do some homework and have a shower and stuff in the meantime. She's feeling pretty sad as well, obviously, because her uncle has passed away, the poor baby, and she's also really low in her fun. Oh, Yuki, there's a spelling bee in school tomorrow. Do you wanna participate? 
yeah, we'll participate. That sounds fun. Um, I'm going to get her to have a bath. And then because she's needing some fun, I might get her to actually create a club with some of her friends or join a club. No, we'll create one. Um, it can be open invitation. I'm going to just add Viv, Janie, um, Dallas, and Joseph. And obviously, like, the things we're going to do is kids' activities. Battle with Void Critters. She did that, um, the Void Critter hunt. She really enjoyed that last time. So I might get her a little Void Critter thing to play with. And we'll do be friendly social interactions. And we'll start gathering. These guys can come over. It's probably not the best day to have friends over, but you know, Yuki's feeling really down. So I'm hoping this will cheer her up. And once Rain gets home, I'm gonna send Rain um, off to visit Kaori a little bit tonight. Hopefully she's doing okay. I wonder if she's given birth yet. No, she hasn't. She's in trimester three. She's gonna have to give birth all on her own, the poor bub. Yuki's friends are over now. So obviously we have Vivian here. Vivian is super adorable. She's Stephanie's um, child. Then we have Dallas, uh, who is, I don't know who Dallas is, but we're just friends with her. She's actually really cute as well. Um, we don't really know her that well, so let's come around and ask her to play patty cake. Then we have Janie, who is Jana's daughter. And then Joseph should be making his way in as well shortly, hopefully. <laughs> um, I'm also gonna go ahead and get some more stuff for Yuki's room, like the little void critter thing. I think she'd really enjoy that. All right, so we've bought the uh, the void critter thing. Oh, they're playing patty cake. That's cute. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are playing their patty cake. <laughs> I'm glad she's made some friends. That's really nice. Um, I'm going to get up to go upstairs and buy some packs for the void critters. So hopefully we can play with our friends. I'm pretty sure it's just order it. Purchase void critter booster pack. Um, we'll get a five pack. I'm sure our mother will not mind. <laughs> Okay, so we got five of those. Uh, so now we can go ahead and battle against, let's battle against uh, Janie because she's just talking to the bear and we're gonna use Wisp. All right, Rain's home from work now as well. Um, she's obviously not feeling her best self. She has no vacation days. I was hoping she would get one so we could take a vacation day tomorrow, but unfortunately that hasn't happened. Um, she is feeling really sad, but she can't leave home just yet because the kids are here. So once uh, Kiyoshi gets home, we'll see if we have time to visit Kiyori. Otherwise we might call in sick tomorrow and go see her instead. All right, Kiyoshi is now home too. Oh, Rain, you burnt your arm on the campfire, my love. Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this little Void Critter game. It's <laughs> it's pretty cute. I feel like I never get my kids to use this. Oh, yes, Rain. I wanted to see Rain's face. Oh, I think Janie's gonna win. She's definitely beating. Okay. All right, I'll let the kiddos keep playing their game. Um, I'm gonna get Rain to head over to Kaori's house. I was just gonna get her to cook a meal to take over. That's kind of the nice thing to do. So let's um, do some cooking and we'll have to make her a nice family meal that she can enjoy with her kids. Okay, she's gonna have to come and keep an eye on the kids. Poor Kiro, <laughs> there's like five kids here. Okay, the food is cooked. And honestly, by the time I've had rain um cook the food wait where did it go it's pretty late anyway so i'm gonna get the whole family to come along to visit kaori um because they're all pretty hungry as well i got into a fight with someone at school about which wood critter is more powerful i said it was the archicorn but he kept saying it was the sunita which one is it um the i don't know this one <laughs> all right let's travel and go visit your sister-in-law Kiori. So we'll bring everyone with us since um, I've, ca I've now canceled that little kitty thingy because it's like eight o'clock. <laughs> All right, here we are. I can see his urn already. I want to see if I can come put this in my inventory. Is it just going to be stuck there? Let's go knock on the door. Right. Uh, Yuki. Jesus Christ. Stop making a mess. Come say hi to your um, cousin. Uh, ask about day. We'll do some child stuff. Let's um... Talk about void critters since you're in love with void critters. And Rain's gonna come in and put down the food for everyone to have. Here you go, guys. Um, oh. Call to meal. Okay, we're not playing karaoke. You're here to support your sister-in-law. Everyone's coming over to get some food. So this is Genesis now as a um, child. She's actually looking really cute. I wonder what she looks like as a teen. And then we, of course, have the firstborn who is... 
Liliana, that's right, as a teenager. I'm gonna have to give these girls some makeovers, but I can see already that they're actually super cute. <laughs> like just naturally, genetically super cute. So that's nice. And then obviously Kaori has got a third child in here. So she's now a single mom to three. I feel kind of bad for her. I hope she does find someone else in her later life. But at the moment, of course, she's mourning and everything. Uh, I think Yoshi's just gonna ask her how she's doing. And I'm gonna get um, Yuki to actually talk to Genesis quite a bit because they're the same age. So I think it'd be cute if they sort of became a little bit closer because they're cousins. Oh my God, these girls are playing patty cake on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna Kiori, making sure she's doing okay. We're just gonna see if she needs anything in this time. Obviously, like she just lost her husband and she's pregnant. She probably like was really relying on him um, to help with the baby because she's got all the kids in the house. But now all of that's gonna be on Kaori and probably Liliana as well, which just seems really unfair. So um, yeah, Rain, even though she's just lost her brother. She wants to do her best to be here for the rest of her family. We're just talking to Kiori. We're gonna feel the baby. Aww. She's still being positive about it. She's like, well, at least I've got my children. Well, God bless. <laughs> Can't even imagine how she would feel right now. We'll brighten her day. We'll try and do our best. I wonder if we can take um, the urn. I don't think I can. I think I need to be part of the household to be able to grab it. Kiyoshi, do not play on Axel's instruments. He just died. Oh my God, put that down. How disrespectful. Oh my God, Kiyoshi. Come and chat with the kids. All right, well, it's good to see that Kiori is still doing all right. We'll have to spend a little bit more time with her moving forward though, but I think now we can probably head home. It's getting late. Hopefully they can get to bed and have a good night's sleep. Bye guys. Oh my God, cute. Look at Genesis. Oh my god, cute. Okay, let's head home. I'm gonna send everybody straight to bed now. It's been a really long day, so they deserve to get some sleep and it's a pretty late already. All right, guys, it's only four o'clock in the morning, but Rain is up because she's had enough sleep. She's feeling really upset. So what she always does when she is upset is she writes a book. So we're gonna go ahead and write a sad book um, we're gonna continue on with our story. Okay, so we've got Haikus for Jet. I think this is what, volume three? Oh, is it four maybe? I don't know. Anyway, losing a brother was just as hard as losing you. I hope you're both together now, jamming out and watching us grow. Oh, Rain. This book is really about losing Axel. We're actually like a couple, I don't know. I wanted to keep up with the writing a little bit more when like milestones happen, but obviously like we've gotten a bit busy with it, uh, but we'll do our best to try and, you know, write as many books as possible, but she's going to go ahead and start writing this one now. I also want to have, get her to have a sick day today, but I don't think that's going to be possible. So I think I'm just going to get her to work from home instead. Um, Everyone else is still asleep at the moment. Oh, actually I lied. <laughs> Here she is up, um, but he could have with some more sleep. So I am gonna send him back to bed for a few more hours. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of the household up now. He has work, oh, not work, school. He has school in an hour. So I'm gonna get her to quickly do her homework now. And Rain also has work today. We're gonna work from home, like I said. And what we need to do today is make friends in the fashion district and start a debate left or right politics. So that seems easy enough. We can definitely do that. Um, Kiyoshi, you're gonna be our first victim today. So please get up and let us come and debate politics with you. Uh, let's debate politics from the left. Left. That did not end well, which means we have to do five mischievous things. Uh, let's dare to streak. Oh, he's off to work. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it when he gets back then because I'm not gonna be able to stop him if he's off to work. Okay, so she's doing five mischievous things now. How annoying. <laughs> okay, he's gone to work. So I'm gonna have to do the other ones when she gets home, but she's gotta do four more, okay? Which means Yuki should be heading off to school now as well. She hasn't finished her homework for the day, but she's going to be late to school. So I'm going to have to just send her in. And that means Rain is going to have to go to the fashion district. So let's head on off. Um, I think I want to bring a friend with us because we're kind of like not feeling our best self. Uh, let's bring Stephanie with us if she's around. Right, fashion district. So let's head over to the karaoke, <laughs> the karaoke place. I guess we could do karaoke while we're here if we finish early. Right, we're in the fashion district. Hello, Stephanie, how are you been? I thought you were gonna try for a baby, but I don't know if you have yet. That's all right, let's promote some politics and try and secure a vote from Stephanie. How does she feel? 
She seemed really receptive. Okay, let's try and get her vote. Okay, we secured Stephanie's vote, which means we only need one more until we get 10. Ooh, this renovated karaoke place is actually really cute. Let's come talk with the bartender, Mira. So we'll have to um, come and do a cheerful introduction. This is about video games. We don't actually like video games. So I don't know why we would do that, but we'll ask her about a day. I literally can't concentrate because this Sim is singing karaoke behind us and he's so loud. Oh my God, it's Halloween tomorrow. <gasps> Ooh, I'm so excited. I really want to do Halloween. Okay, I don't know if she's flirting with us or something. Yeah, she literally was flirting with us. That's freaking awkward. Okay, that didn't really go how we planned. We wanted to make a friend here, but I wasn't able to. Oh my god, look at that woman. That's terrifying. <laughs> Promotes politics with Mira. Stop flirting with us, Mira. I know you're the bartender, but please stop. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, Kyori's here. <gasps> Kaori, you had your baby. You must have had it last night. And you're out already? Okay, we've become friends with Mira now, at the very least. Let's see if we can secure her vote. Now that we're friends. And then, I'm, and then I want to do karaoke, okay? Unconvinced, rude, or whatever. Let's do some karaoke, Stephanie. Let's do a ballad together. Oh my god, wow. I swear I heard death here again. Did someone die on the lot? Oh no, it must be the a rocket ship. Oh, GeekCon's on. <gasps> Sweet. Oh my God, we should come to GeekCon. I'm gonna come and do like the um, hackathon. Also there's like random. Oh, this is Rory. I like your outfit, babe. <laughs> Today's goal is to secure one more vote. I don't care who I secure it from, but we're gonna secure one more vote. Holy moly, look down here. <gasps> This is so cool. It's like a whole ass gaming section. Oh my gosh. Pretty sure Kaori was here before, but I feel like she's left now. Maybe I'll just invite um, Jana. We're actually pretty hungry. Let's just invite the whole club. Um, but we're gonna have to grab some food. That's fine, but where can I order food? Let's just grab this hamburger. Steal it, steal it Rain, steal it. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't order any food. Oh, now I can. <gasps> oh no. Oh my gosh, Rory's just furying and now everyone's scared. Eat this hot dog, babe, go on. Wait, where's that hamburger gone that you had? Oh, keep an eye out for Rory. Oh my gosh, the geek con is actually where Axel met Kaori for the first time. As long as you've had some food, that's fine. You can run away, Rain. All right, she's doing the hackathon now. This is like not really her cup of tea, but I want her to do it anyway so we can try and earn some money. She might even be good at it. You never know. And then we got to secure one more vote. So I'm going to try with all of our friends once we're finished here. Oh, damn. We didn't, we didn't place. That's fine. Uh, where are our friends at? Because I want to try and can get our last vote. <laughs> where are they? All right, she's going to go talk to Caleb over here now. Hey, Caleb. You know how you said you wanted to vote for me? Is that still the case? No, apparently not. Okay, rude. Okay, let's try with Jenna instead. Jenna, are you interested in voting for us? Yes, hopefully. Okay, let's try and do this now. Politician Korea, secure vote. Did you... Oh, we got it. Okay, we've done 10 votes. All right, I'm going to switch house, uh, switch over to Yuki now, but I'm going to leave Rain here to hang out with her friends for a little bit longer and also just continue working on her skills. Alrighty, so Yuki's home and Rain is um, out, but Kyoshi is home. Um, I feel like these guys are probably pretty hungry and stuff, so I'm going to get them to make some dinner together. So let's cook together with Yuki. Um, let's make some berry scones because, you know, they've had a pretty tough week. So, you know, I feel like some little sweet treats is probably ideal. All right, Kyo is come over. He's like, all right, come on, Yuki. We're going to make some food together since mom's out. I want to teach you how to do some cooking. You know, you're getting older. You probably need to learn how to do some um, cooking for yourself. And, you know, it might cheer you up doing some baking in the house. I might, I might even add like an extra bench because I don't know. I feel like there's an issue here with her not being able to cook for some reason. Okay, it's working this time. So we have little Yuki in the kitchen doing some cooking. She's, I guess she's like getting a little bit of a love for cooking now that she's been doing it with her dad you know look at her go she's oh dropped the egg in but you know there's only improvements from here oh <laughs> 
goodness, what a cutie. And they have a little sentiment from cooking together. They're making a chocolate pie this time, I'm pretty sure. So even though they're both sad, I think this is like a nice activity that they can do together. And it not just feeds them, but it also helps them build some skills and some relationship, which I think is really nice. I'm gonna bring home Rain now as well. So Rain's gonna come home and be like, oh my God, guys, you making some food? Um, I guess she's gonna come down and have a serving of the scones we made earlier. And then she's obviously gonna have to have a bath and go to bed. Oh, Stephanie's here too for some strange reason. Uh, we didn't invite you over, Steph. I think you can actually probably go home because it's pretty late. <laughs> um, Yuki, do you want to come upstairs and grab a shower before you go to sleep? And here's our chocolate pie that we made. Doesn't that look so nice? Good job, you two. Rain, I'm going to get you to quickly take the dog for a walk. Uh, go on walk, go for a short walk. And then when these two come home, I'm going to get them to Boohoo because they both need some fun and they've been feeling a little bit distant lately. And Yuki's over here playing toys. Oh my gosh, she's just the cutest little thing. I think what we've learned about Yuki as a child so far is that she loves void critters and she also loves cooking so yeah there we go <laughs> her little personality is starting to shine through um, but she does need to go to sleep so I'm gonna get her to go to bed now she's feeling pretty tired and I also don't think she got her homework done did she so we'll have to do that when she wakes up here she really needs some fun so I'm gonna go ahead and get him to woohoo with rain when she gets back from her walk but I really needed to take the dog for a walk because I've kind of been neglecting snow a little bit and she really needs the toilet so we make sure we have to go for a walk now um ask about romantic interests with rain oh he's like there there babe you'll be all right Oh, cute. I have to get her to finish doing that mischief stuff as well, so I might do that now. Gonna be mischievous five times. Uh, impersonate mermaids. Okay, so she's being mischievous four more times now, like we needed to do. She dislikes mischief? Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> but she still has to do it, unfortunately. It's either that or be mean. I don't want them to break up. Oh, that that affected their friendship. Okay, I'm gonna ask to stargaze. Hopefully that will fix some things up. My bad. I'm sorry, it's part of the rules. I didn't want them to not be friends anymore, but you know, <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, I'll see if they wanna woohoo, but I have a feeling they're gonna not agree to it. So we'll try. Oh, she said yes. Okay, let's go. All right, there they go, having some woohoo times. All right, there they are, they're in bed now. They were having a little bit of a cuddle, there they go. Okay, they're having a cuddle now and Rain's getting up. <laughs> oh my God, he's like stuck to her, look at this. This is how I sleep in the night. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny all right I'm gonna let these guys um go to sleep now and then I'll get them both up in the morning tomorrow is Halloween so we will be having like a Halloween party and celebrating with Yuki um I think it'd be fun to have like a kid's Halloween party and she can invite all of her new friends over um I also went ahead and added Genesis to their group here because she's a child and I will be giving Genesis um and potentially Dallas and Joseph a makeover before the next episode however kids don't stay as kids for too long so I might just give Genesis a makeover we'll see um but I am gonna leave this episode Episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I am really upset that Axel has passed away. Um, I hope you guys feel the same. I was gonna do like a funeral, but but I couldn't pick up his urn, so I just didn't feel like there was really any point to it. So I hope you like the route we took with it, regardless. Um, if you are, if you did like today's episode, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode where we have Halloween and we're also getting closer to Halloween in real life. So it kind of lined up perfect. All right, guys. Bye.